Are we there now? You're supposed to be in your bunk, and yes, we'll be there soon. So, good news and bad news. Good news, I figured out how to make thermal energy out of clouds. Bad news, the heat has lit fire to our engines and is eating them away. Get your parachute. Now. We're bailing on the ship. We don't have a choice. Our ship might not survive. But... Now! Gone. All of them. We're going down with this puppy. Damn. Okay, 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 okay. We can do this. We have two choices. Die to fire and have the wreckage destroy our bodies. Or... I guess we could steer down and crash blimp wherever we are. Do the math. Quickly! Steer down. It'll be a rough landing, but we'll survive. Barely. Okay, see you on the other side. Huh. Okay, so maybe I went a little overboard on the introduction, but meh, whatever. Hello all and welcome to the new season of Pharaohcraft. The episode is finally here. The server's been up and running for only a little while, maybe a couple of days. However, we weren't able to start recording for a little while because, um, as you can see, uh, maybe this did a little bit of interference. But I am here now, I am recording. We've set up a little bit of a base and we have lore now, which is a thing. That's, yeah, that's definitely a thing. We have crash landed on this strange planet, trying to get to our headquarters, and we're basically going to be building a bunch of different, like, blimps and airships and steampunk kind of things to get us back to our headquarters and eventually terraform this planet as one of our own. So yeah, that's the gist. How are you guys doing? It's been a little while since I've recorded. We don't really have too much of a goal today. Mainly just do some introductions, gather a little bit of miscellaneous footage, putting some stuff around the base. I have a small checklist of things I would like to do. Number one is I want to get more sheep, which we can just work on right now with breeding them. Number two is I want to build an industrial industrial cow slayer to get leather and beef as a food source. And three is I want to get an industrial chicken slayer. We also want to just gather a ton of wool. First we'll work on making the industrial cow slayer. I have a design in mind and it basically functions on we have a couple of cows which we're gonna go retrieve from over there and we're going to put we're gonna take the cows and put them in a little hole we will then breed them and the babies will fall out the sides of the hole and will go into the killing chamber when they grow up we push a button lava and lava um, appears just for a moment so that the items don't burn but they set on fire and die a few seconds later we collect the beef and the leather and only a few only a few hundred cows are harmed in the process. Let's go get some cows. Quest for cows was unsuccessful, so instead we're gonna make chicken farm. And the chick farm is going to work on pretty much the same idea. We have a bunch of chickens, they lay eggs, and the eggs make babies. The babies are then going to be burned by lava, and hoppers will pick up the items, such as feathers and cooked chicken. Simple, you would think, until you actually have to design it. I'm gonna get to work on gathering the resources for it, and then we're gonna build it. We have gathered all of the materials for our industrial chicken slayer, and in the chest, we have all the materials. A lava bucket, a couple of hoppers, a slab, some glass, well, you don't need the glass, but if you want to watch the murder happen, you can have some glass, a dispenser, 
some redstone repeaters, comparator, and redstone dust. Let's hope I haven't forgotten anything. Now usually we would also have two chests in here for materials, but we already have our chest in here, so we're just gonna start building. The way this works is we have a hopper, and on top of it we have a slab. It is a little known fact that if you throw an item on top of a slab that's on top of a hopper, the hopper will pick it up because the slab is not a full block and therefore can suck the item up. Now baby chickens are about half a block tall which means that they will fit on top of this slab. And then, when we place our lava bucket on top, when they grow up, they will be burned and their items will go into the hopper. But they will only be set on fire when they grow up. Genius, right? Okay, we have returned and we have redstone dust. Redstone down here, like so, and place a repeater. And that did something, but not what we wanted. There we go. So all of our eggs just fired and we still don't have any baby chickens. And the next step is get a buttload of chickens so they produce the eggs for us. I'm gonna see if we can get some more chickens just around here and have a little staircase going in. Okay. So our quest for cows was unsuccessful. However, I did find a bunch of sheep in my time there. So let's see if we can get some chickens. Let's do a time lapse.
Yes! Oh, we're gonna have so many chickens constantly dying, giving us feathers and cooked chicken. Ah. Oh my god, they're already laying. Let's get in let's get a new chicken. Boom. What a sad existence for these guys. They're stuck here forever and ever and ever. No escape from getting out. I'm sorry if it was a little shorter than usual. I'm not quite sure because I don't record things all in one clip anymore and I've been doing this over a course of a day or two. I need to make sure that I have less footage to edit so I actually get videos up quicker. And also, those cutscenes take so long to make. Hope you enjoyed. Wish me luck in our chickeny endeavors. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye!